Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So I'm back with another roaming monster and this is the Paragon who's primed in White Scar from Citadel Color Primers. And we're not going to be using any contrast paints, we're actually going to be using this only shade and then a bunch of speed paints as well. So we're starting off with my very favorite shade that we just received, Soul Blight Grey. Yes, I love this shade on white. And when I dry brush at the end, it pops wow does it ever turn out looking nice i mean you saw it in the picture at the beginning right it looks amazing this soul blight gray I, I i think i'm gonna have to make like a a song about soul blight gray or something because like it's just amazing it, it, this shade if you don't have it please go get this shade if you've been using apothecary white or holy white this is the paint or shade i should say you need uh, yes, I put a little bit on the cross here. Um, as you can see, I put it on pretty much everywhere except for where the metal is going to be. And that's what we're doing now is gun metal from the army painter. So this is a darker silver color. Uh, we're going to be putting this on that, I don't know, chalice of some sort on top and that little symbol or whatever. And all over uh, the armor as well as the top of the weapons and that because we're going to be using some speed paints on top of this metal once this is nice and dry as well. I just skipped ahead a little bit there because I'm sure you don't want to see me painting everything in metal. Uh, so now it's just the tips of that interesting looking uh, sword or axe this guy has. Alright, so we're moving on to our first speed paint here, Camo Cloak. This is from the Army Painter, of course. So like I said, we're doing speed paints. This is for those little vines that are like on the big hunking thingy. And those, yeah, anyways. Dark wood is our next speed paint. We're gonna be doing this on all of that staff. This is a cool looking staff looking, or like a ax or whatever it is, because it looks like it's a bunch of like sticks that are holding together and not, you know, like an actual just one handle. So this is a pretty interesting ax in my opinion. It must be pretty heavy as well. And it doesn't matter if you get like all some other parts with that brown, it's not gonna be doing anything. Oh, I was wrong actually. We are using a contrast paint. This is Ayandan Yellow because I will be using the Zealot yellow later on something else. And I find the Yandin, Yandin, Yandin yellow works a little bit better for like flames like this. So this Phoenix or whatever this is, this bird on top of them is in like flames. And I put on a little thick so that the uh, orange pops out a little bit more. Oh, and I'm using another uh, contrast paint, sorry. Magmaroth flame or Mag Magdramoth, weird name. Uh, this is a very bright orange, not much contrast to it. Uh, it looks more like a paint than anything else. Arid Earth now from the Army Painter War Paints range. This is regular paint, not a speed paint or anything like that. We're just going to be doing around uh, that uh, cross or whatever that is on top of his head or her head. I don't know if it's a her or a he, I don't know. Uh, and they're just getting like the discs to make it a little bit more yellow. Arid Earth has this yellow tint to it or like a beige tint to it. So, uh, yeah, and it made it, makes that cross pop out a little bit more with that. Just a white scar, just in simple. Opal skin now, just for the face. You just want to layer this on very gently. Now we're using some lava orange from the Army Painter. This is another war paint. We're going to go on top of some of those, uh, I guess, ribbons or ropes that are holding um, that huge axe branches together. Uh, only part of the ribbons, because the other ribbons are the next color. And as you can see, if I'm putting it on pretty light, and even if the speed paint reactivates underneath it, it actually does the perfect effect of like a leathery orange color, which is exactly what I wanted. And then Gorgon Hide is our next color, and this is a, um, a bluish white color, gray, white, blue, I don't know. Has a tint of blue, not much. You can't see too much here. And of course, with the speed paint underneath, I'm not putting it on too thick so that it does the same effect, almost like as if we're putting a second uh, shade on top of that brown. So you want some of that brown to come through to give like a highlight. Now we're using that Zealot yellow because I find this works great on silver colors to get a nice beautiful gold. We're going to get this all over his armor except there's a couple patches where you don't do it because we do that with another color later on. And you don't... Uh, so it's, it's like these plates that he has in front of him. There's actually that big plate on his left side there I was supposed to do that goes down his leg. Uh, but I just do it in the other color instead. And it comes out looking actually pretty cool. And as you can see, this Zealot yellow, again, makes armor look really nice and golden. And it keeps the silver coming through. And I also put a little bit on uh, that uh, chalice on top there just to finish that off as well. So hardened leather now. We're going to be putting that on top of the metal. This gives almost like a bronze effect. 
to that metal. So there's only those couple little plates there. Technically, it should have been only the two little tiny plates of armor. And then around his neck as well. Crusader skin, like I said, I'm starting to like this. Uh, especially on the Scar White. Or actually, it's on top of Opal skin now. Uh, it gives it just a nice ghoulish look. I try to make the eyes a little darker. And then we're doing the glistening blood. Yeah, I didn't realize it was blood that was dripping down from that chalice or whatever. And onto the, the, the Paragon's head. Uh... And glistening blood from Army Painter, you want to put it on thick enough or it becomes pink on top of white. Uh, so just make sure, and I add a little bit more to the top of that saucer, just to make it look like that. And this is where I finish off the miniature with some pale skin. This is Zombie Side Invader, unique paint in the Army Painter range. Dry brush that all over the skirt, and there you have it, folks. The Paragon is painted, ready for the table. I hope you enjoy, folks. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and hit that like button if you're liking these videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.